Just a quick video, we're going to create a keyframe shape and I'm going to use the speed on fader to record some keyframes into a timeline. So first of all, just going to create a keyframe shape. I'll use my uh, grid of blades right here and I'll start a new keyframe shape. So create and I'll just bring up an intensity here. And I'll start with them in a deep blue and I like that line look so I'll keep them quite wide to begin. That line, so I'll add a frame. Yeah. Rotate them. Okay, so now I want them to switch colors. Rotate that frame. So we'll open before we come back to the blue line. So it's so up and just in a dot. Now be the last frame. So we play that back. I'm going to flick through really quickly, so I'll open up my effects editor. I'll just make it a bit smaller, uh, so we can see it running at the same time. So it is running through quite fast. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a different spread. I'm going to spread it over eight. There we are. I'm going to change the direction so we're going center out. All right, and it is quite fast. We're going to use the speed on the fader, so I'm going to record that at that speed anyway. So let's record it. And you Q. Um, and I can reuse this keyframe. So without changing anything, I'm still an, um, a programmer and I'm going to change the direction from the front down. So we've got a couple of different looks here out of the same keyframe effect. I'm just going to record that one as well into another fader. Uh, so now I've got those two, I can start recording on the timeline. Now I can clear out of that. I'll start a new, new timeline. And I'm just going straight to this track so I don't need about my offset I'll link it up so we're running now right now these are just set to fast so I'll make sure my fader is set as the size or the speed so shape effect speed I'll make the size fixed so if I release everything now then my fader is controlling the speed I'll do the same with this one make the size fixed and the speed all right, now I can record those in to my timelines so start recording on the track. I'm going to record all my fader moves. Let's record all those in if I release everything now. I can play that back. I can see my fade has moved and it's actually adjusting the speed. So if I play this back now and jump ahead. Come on. It's right in the fader there. And if I need to clean it up, I can. So. At the ascend part here, I want it to drop out and start the next one quite quickly. So I can fix that up by just delete the frames I don't need. I delete these ones. Make sure that drop, I move it over. All right, and that drop happens. Come on. Back a little.
So I need this other one to come in quite quickly. So I want to flash up and then go back to that speed. So I'll delete the, again, the frames I don't need. So these ones, I want this to jump straight up to that level and then to drop back down to the speed I had it at. So now if I play it, move these over. So you can quite then fine tune your speed as you adjust it throughout the track. So I've got those moments there, I've finally adjusted where I need it to drop out and suddenly jump back in. Come on. And I want it darker a bit quicker, so just wind that back a bit more. All right, so this is a really quick and simple time code show Come just on. using a single keyframe shape with two different playbacks. So I'll let that play out now for you. <laughs> 